FTB Film Study is sponsored by the 409 Tailgate Club. For the best tailgate sauces, barbecue dry rubs, and Bloody Mary mix, visit 409tailgateclub.com today. What's up, guys? Today we're going to talk about Parker Washington, how he's going to step into the number one receiver role, and let's talk about the things that make him green. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe. Don't forget, follow. Can't wait to get it. Season's almost here. Let's do it. Now, understand that I'm a huge fan of Parker Washington and have been since he was in high school. Um, he's from Fort Bend, Travis, which is right on the southwest side of Houston. Um, so I've been really familiar with him since he was in high school, and I absolutely loved him then. And I thought Penn State got a steal. Let's talk about his unbelievable ability to make contested catches. So if you look at the top of your screen, what you're going to see is you're going to see the slot receiver up here at the top. I want you to watch his ability to run this slot fade. Now, the route isn't anything special because it's it's a simple man beater, slot fade, and all they're going to do is they're going to throw this ball at the ticks. But I want you to watch his ability to go up and grab this ball. Okay, and so this is something I want to show you. Watch how he gets up with one hand. He grabs this ball and pulls it in. Now, these, these balls are a lot harder than people think they are, and not just because Odell Beckham Jr. made him famous back in the day against the Cowboys. I want you to watch the ball. This was not a very well-thrown football. What I want you to see is I want you to watch his ability to make the separation, but get up and make this play and snag that ball inside of him. Okay, everyone remembers the Michigan State game. They should have won, but they didn't win. The big reason that they were in this game was Parker Washington had a game. So watch yourselves right here. I want you to take a look. There's a couple of things I want you to see, and I want you to see the out route by the number two receiver up top. It's hard to see with the white on white, but I'll follow him with my mouse so you can kind of see where I'm going. So as he goes up and he feels this, it's like a boot. He's going to run an out route. Okay, He's running a speed cut, but watch his ability to make this catch. Another ridiculous one-handed catch in the middle of two guys Okay, on the sideline and comes down with that ball. So it's not a fluke thing that he can make these amazing one-handed catches. These are one-handed catches he makes because he absolutely has to, and he does it on a consistent basis. Back to the same game. Now, again, watching the slot receiver up top. Okay, here we go. He's going to push himself up. Because there's so much snow, you can't really run a lot of hard-cut digs. So he basically runs a speed dig. And I want you to watch how he goes up between three defenders at the point of contact and makes this play on the safety. So really an impressive, impressive ball. But really what I thought was really impressive was his ability to go up and get this, knowing there's a safety sitting over the top of him, and he still makes this contested catch. Guys, this is not normal. This is not a thing that a lot of people can do, uh, especially for a guy who's not known to be a large receiver. Guys, this is elite. Okay. So the next thing I want to focus on on Parker Washington's skill set is his overall speed and his route running. Okay, so we're going to watch another slot fade. This is the Outback Bowl against Arkansas. Watch how he creates separation on this safety, and he separates himself in a dead-on sprint. This is elite speed, guys. You don't see this very often. Okay, so a lot of guys, when they catch this ball, when they throw a slot fade at this angle right here, you're looking at a good five yards of cushion. Most of the time, these five-yard cushion slot fades are back shoulders. But because Parker Washington has so much speed in the ground that he covers, he's able to get this ball. This is a ridiculously impressive speed. So here we go. I want to show you this because this route running is unbelievable. One, yours does a great job because I absolutely love this play call because this little short motion does a great job of making safeties make a play instead of a corner on a number one receiver. So he brings Parker Washington into the slot which now makes the safety his over-the-top player. So watch how he breaks into this. I want you to watch how he steps on this safety's toes. Look at this route. Oh, this is a post corner. And I want you to watch how he gets on top of him, sells with the eyes. Watch how he sells with the eyes, sells with the foot. Oh, that right there, guys. That, that is what Twitter videos are made of. DB is on almost on his butt. He turns himself out. There is nothing but green space purely made because of his impressive route concept. And then he gets the ball and he takes off. Still not tackled. I want you to see this in full motion so you can get a true feel of how smooth that route is. This is the next thing I want to talk about. His ability to make yards after contact. And I believe if I'm correct, 
he has more yards after contact than any receiver in Penn State in the James Franklin era. Again, not bad for a kid who's probably one of the smaller receivers on the Penn State roster. Again, one route running, unbelievable. Watch him set this guy up on the outside. He's the slot receiver at the bottom. Watch him set up with a skip release. He's going to bang himself inside. He's going to make a contested catch between three defenders. He's going to get hit on contact by two of them, keep his feet, and still take off and run. And if you watch, what's really impressive is he shakes another tackle, okay, and he still never falls to the ground. This is an impressive ability. One, contested catch. Two, yards after catch. Yards after catch are the difference between good receivers and great receivers. Okay, here we go again. We're going to watch again from the slot up top. Watch his ability to make yards after catch. Simple bubble route. Okay, this is nothing special. A lot of everyone in America runs this. But I want you to watch what makes this special. Watch how he won. He shakes the outside receiver, which, again, the outside receiver had a decent block. Safety comes down to make a play. He stutters him, avoids him. Watch this. Linebacker comes up. Again, gives him the, gives him the, the stiff leg right here. Uh, hits him with it. And then gets out of bounds. One, knows how to save his body. Two, knows how to make a play in space. And three, knows how to make a first down and realize that I don't have to fight for two yards. Okay, that's impressive, guys. That really is impressive. Okay, the number two receiver at the top. He's right here, okay? I want you to see this full speed so you can get a real true feel of what this looks like. He breaks out, comes back over the top, catches the dig in the window, and literally breaks three or four tackles and runs for an amazing run. Let's break this one down. Watch how he takes himself off. He has a wonderful outside release. Okay, this is going to force this outside linebacker to make a decision. Now, he's going to find the window, get over the second level. Okay, this is truly just a, a read route for him. He's going to break over the top. Clifford knows that he's going to break this route because they've worked on this so much, and he sees this window. So the fact that he can see this is impressive. Okay, but now what I want to show you is this. Watch how he breaks the window. Watch how he settles into the window, comes back to the ball. He catches the ball between three defenders. Watch. One, two, and never gets tackled. Guys, his speed, his ability to catch the ball in space and contested catches, and his yards after catch, we're going to make Parker Washington a special football player.